This country has a long tradition of welcoming migrants. Our country and the English language have been enriched as a result. There's no such thing as a typical migrant, which means there's also no such thing as a typical EAL student. It's important, however, to recognise that screening and identification of proficiency level, whilst necessary for data gathering to establish the school's EAL profile, is not sufficient to provide a basis for curriculum-based EAL assessment and for planning EAL provision. So there's a whole range of reasons why we can't make the same assumptions about additional language learners as we do about first language learners. This means it's really important for teachers to get to know the backgrounds, the levels of knowledge and the range of language proficiencies of additional language learners in their schools and to take these into account when they're differentiating their teaching and learning. There are many different types of EAL learners. It's important that we don't take a one-size-fits-all approach when we think about teaching and learning and related matters. Knowing words and grammar and being able to use this knowledge to make sense of what's going on in the immediate context should be regarded as the basics. They're in a very disorientated situation, so it's very, very important to sort of get them quickly socialised within the school and within the country. So we do find ourselves getting involved in the social issues of the, of the students. It's often we find at that stage that we really get a lot of buy-in from the parents. It's not um, something we find out immediately. One thing we're very clear on um, with, with teachers is that they are responsible totally for the progress of the, um, the EAL students just as they are for all their other students. And so there's no sort of question that, oh, that's the responsibility of the EAL department or of the EAL mentor. Good teaching is good teaching, no matter who your students are. There's a lot of informal discussion, mm -hmm. you know, backwards and forwards, and, and that's probably richer than anything else we would write down. All classes look for opportunities to promote diversity. I mean, we're very, we feel very, very proud and privileged mm -hmm. that we're in a community that has got such a very diverse um, range of, of cultural and ethnic backgrounds. We're really lucky. A next step for us mm -hmm. is to try and engage more of our um, more of our parents. We make it part of our staff induction programme that um, teachers are um, trained in how to support EAL learners in their lessons. We would really, really like there to be a situation where we could have some expertise in, um, in EAL as teachers, as trained teachers. I, I fear a little for the future um, in terms of uh, there being um, a skills gap and how, what we will be able to provide because EAL isn't going away.